You okay, Megan? Yeah. yeah. Yes. This is the sweet view. Stop. It is. Stop oh. it. At this point, we're high above the jungle canopy, 200 feet off the ground. This is definitely Megan's least favorite part of our trip to Ecuador. In our last two videos on the channel, we traveled around the country riding down volcanoes and exploring the high altitude parts of Ecuador. Now it's time to lose 8,000 feet of elevation and head down to the rainforest. Mindo is our destination, and it's known for chocolate, jungle wildlife, and of course, adventuring. We're gonna stay at a cool little place by some waterfalls and see what we can get into, including riding this chairlift to access some trails. We just rolled into Mindo and we gotta get some pineapples for breakfast. Cuantos cuesta la piña? Piña, tengo tres dos cincuenta. Ecuador, Ecuador. That is awesome. These look so good too. Everything yeah. in Ecuador is basically almost better. Everything. Everything tastes so good, doesn't it? Yeah. It's a quick drive from town to our little cabin in the jungle that'll serve as our base camp. This place is awesome. It's called the Mindo Eco Chalet. We decided we were coming to somewhere cool like this. You can't just stay at a hotel. You gotta stay somewhere way cooler. Super safe here up in the jungle. Keep the bikes under the roof right there. Keep them dry when it rains because it's definitely gonna rain here. We got our mud boots right there for when we walk to the waterfall. So this place has a waterfall just up the hill from the chalet. One of the best parts is this awesome deck up here. Got a hammock. Owen's just chilling. Yeah, it's pretty sick here. Tons of room here to just chill. Let's go inside. This place has tons of character. It's just a really cool all wooden house. Being an eco lodge, everything is solar powered. So they got panels out there and then it's just battery set up in here that powers the refrigerator and all the lights. They're all LEDs. Nice little kitchen area here. We got the basics. Of course, we got tons of fruit on the way into town. Let's check out the upstairs now. So there's space for everybody. It just feels like this really cool little cabin in the jungle. So we're in this room, got beds for everybody. In the mornings, the birds wake us up with the sounds. Got the windows open the whole night. We can hear the water with the creek that runs next door. There's a couple other rooms as well if you got friends coming or a bigger family. So it's a really sweet place to stay. It's a beautiful day out. We're gonna go explore the jungle on our bikes and check out the butterflies and waterfalls and all kinds of cool things on the bikes, which is the best way to get around here. Check out the bamboo and the banana plant. I think they have a chairlift here we can check out, Owen. It does sound sick. Gotta ride wheelies on the bridges, right, buddy? This is definitely the sketchiest chairlift you guys have ever ridden. I don't know about this. The lift, the power for the lift is actually that yellow generator over there. And the power is ran from the generator with a cord that's over, that's going over a tree branch. So not something you do every day. This is gonna be interesting. Yeah, we're not in uh, the U.S. anymore, are we? <laughs> no, no. I'm sure there's safety inspectors and everything. Yeah, yeah. You look excited to ride this chairlift. I just want to get up there so I can ride down, get my feet on the ground. That's it. <laughs> I like my feet on the ground. I like to ride my bike. You're not a fan of heights, are you? No, no. Things I do to ride in remote places, right? This is what you got to do sometimes. So Milo, I think we're going to load our bikes on this one somehow. Okay. There's no bike tree like Deer Valley, is there? No. <laughs> so we're putting seat belts around them. What do you think, Milo? It isn't that sketchy because there's a seat belt right there. Yeah, they're seat belted in. Yeah, and they're tying it. Seat belts for safety. Yeah. So the bikes are hanging from the foot rack. Then we got rope and two seat belts. What do you think? I don't know. South American style is cool, isn't it? Yeah. We have a hitchhiker with us too. Where do you go? You kind of come on a ride? Okay, this is, are we doing this? No, okay. Did actually come with us? Yeah. They sent an emotional support animal with you. Yes, they did. <laughs> Hola, Pedro. I don't know about this. Hey. That's why we come down here, right? Yeah, I have my seatbelt on. 
Look at the bikes. Look at the bikes. They're just tied on. Do you know I'd be super scared if she was on this? This one's just like, woo! Whoa. Those are coffee. That was a toucan a that, tree. a toucan just flew away. So if any of you guys drink coffee, there's a coffee tree. Yeah, and a toucan just flew out of it. Crazy. It's cool what can live here in the jungle. Everything's bigger, everything's crazier, and everything's like just insaner. Megan was doing okay with the ride until this point when the lift came to a stop for about five minutes, at the highest point a couple hundred feet off the ground. Thankfully by this time in the trip she was used to pushing her boundaries and we helped her stay calm with some deep breathing and support from her new dog friend chilling at her feet. It's never easy facing your fears, but that's always where the growth comes as a person. <laughs> Dog's like, I'm done. Dog's out of here. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Made it. This is our dog friend from the lift. He just uh, rides up and rides down whenever he wants to and cruises around. We made it safely to the top of the chairlift. Most people don't come up here to ride bikes. This definitely is not a bike park, but there's a fun single track we can ride, which then will take us to a cool dirt road, which we can ride to a butterfly farm. We should have some fun trail. Let's go check it out. That was fun, huh? Yeah, so much fun. Now we get some road ripping. Oh yeah, some wheelies, some manuals. Some dirt road shredding. Well, we're getting barreled. Those bamboo are massive. So this is the butterfly spot. It's supposed to be pretty unreal. So it goes from the seed to the caterpillar, and then it goes into the pupa, which is these things right here, and then it liquefies and it loses its head. Like its head falls off, everything turns to liquid, and then it reforms as a butterfly over a couple weeks, and then they only live for a month. How cool is that, Owen? Kind of tickles. <laughs> Isn't it crazy how he's all like camouflage on the outside and then beautiful blue on the inside? Yeah. Let's keep on walking with our butterflies. It's our new pet. You don't have to be a butterfly person to appreciate that. That's just amazing. That thing's huge. That is the biggest butterfly I've ever seen. I think the butterflies are making up for the chairlift ride. <laughs> Definitely. I've gotten over it. <laughs> Good. I forgot about it, almost. But this is special, like this is, I've never seen anything like this anywhere else. It was time to head back to the cabin and hike up to the waterfall. When you go to places like this, you have to make the most out of your time and pack in everything you can. What's a trip to the jungle without swimming in a waterfall? We are deep in the jungle now. I think it's right up here.
actually really relaxing. This was awesome. The kids loved it. We all feel refreshed and totally ready to go now. And there's nothing like just sitting under a waterfall in a mountain stream. We're gonna grab some quick dinner and then do a nighttime tour in the jungle. So we're on a nighttime walk through the jungle now with the naturalist and he's showing us all the animals that come out at night that live around here. We should see snakes, spiders, all kinds of wild stuff. The kids are pretty excited. I am too. He just said this bamboo right here is only a month old and it's like the size of a building. It's ridiculous. That thing looks like a bad time if you touch it. Once we started seeing stuff everywhere, it makes you kind of paranoid that there's stuff getting all over you. Definitely doing and experiencing some of my favorite things today. This is pretty Between, cool. Yeah, it is. It's really cool, but yeah, bats and spiders and snakes and scorpions. The boys are loving it though. Yeah. No, These it's trees. Cool. I've These... never done anything like this before. Ecuador is known for a lot of things, but I think the one that the kids are most excited about is chocolate. So we're at a chocolate factory and we're gonna find out how chocolate is made from the cacao bean all the way to the actual production. So this is a cacao tree and that's where the chocolate actually grows. These yellow things right here, that's the chocolate fruit, the cacao fruit. That's how it grows out in the wild. So after they pick the cacao off the tree, they wrap it in banana leaves and put it in a wooden crate and with the heat, it starts to ferment and it actually creates its own heat up to 40 Celsius and they leave it in there for about four days. And then after that, they put it out on these drying tables here and they dry it for a couple weeks. And that's when it actually starts to smell like chocolate. Then they put it in here for the roaster. This is where they take the cacao nibs and make it into the chocolate. Now we get to try out all the different kinds of chocolate they make. They got them in these little sample sizes here. What do you think, boys? I'm gonna try them all. <laughs> They're trying them all. <laughs> what if we just eat all the chocolate? I don't have the cardamom. This one is the best. It has uh, cashew nuts in it. And it's really good. And this one is, I think, the second best. It has brown sugar in it. <laughs> I'm chocolated out for like the first time in my life. I've never ate so much chocolate at once. I'm we found his limit. He's finally had too much chocolate. Yeah. Never thought it would hit me. <laughs> We hope you enjoyed our Ecuador video series. We had a blast down here. Traveling the world has been one of the highlights of my life and I feel so fortunate to share it with my family now. Let us know how you liked the videos in the comments below and consider subscribing to our channel so you don't miss any of our new videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next adventure. Perfecto. <laughs> what do you guys think? I love it. Gracias.